seeing you, man. Thank you, sir. Good to see you again. Uh, talk a little bit about your greatest memories of this rivalry, where you have A and T and you have the Eagles, and that's a huge game. Talk a little bit about that rivalry. Well, it's it's been so many. Um, as far as uh, obviously playing in it for four years, and then uh, coaching in this rivalry for I guess it's probably ten years now, and um, I've been on both sides of the fence. Uh, it's it's just so many memories. Um, I guess maybe my the first year, my freshman year, my first play of my college career, uh, I played you know defensive back and punter. But my first player play as a college of my college career, uh, I was punting. And I was backed up in the end zone, had to punt out the end zone. And, you know, we were in um, Carter Finley Stadium in front of 40, 45,000 people. Um, so that was, that was my first taste of, of, of this rivalry. But, uh, you know, it's been a hard fought battle, you know, rivalry, you know, for 100 years. Uh, it's been a lot of, lot of trash talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, unfortunately, been a couple punches thrown, but um, obviously, we, won't, we definitely won't have any of that this weekend. But uh, heated rivalry. And um, I think, you know, uh, uh, two really good schools with a lot of pride and tradition. Going to go at it this weekend. Coach, uh, your offensive side of the ball, Mr. Harris, Mr. Hicks, Mr. Collier, and Mr. Pratt. Talk about those gentlemen and what you guys want to do uh, this year as far as scoring. Um, I know you can't give out, out, you know, certain details, but just talk about Eagles football and what you, what you want to envision. Well, I, I think we're going to start off a little different. We're going to start off with uh, Corey Bullock, Robert Mitchell, Torcelli Simpkins, Daquan Thomas, Kadeem Doof. I think that's going to be the difference of this year's team. Uh, we have some guys up front. Um, we have some experience up front. We're healthy up front. And we haven't been that since I've been here. And that's where it starts. Uh, we've got to, you know, we have a great quarterback. We got great running backs. We have great receivers. But everything starts up front with the offensive line. And um, uh, I'm very comfortable with those guys. Um, I believe in them, and, and I think that um, as they go, we go. Um, we're explosive, you know, on the, on the perimeter with our receivers. Uh, we have a couple really good running backs. Um, so we, we have some playmakers. We have playmakers before, but if you can't win up front, you're going to have a long day. And uh, I think we solidified that. Um, coach Leone, offensive coordinator, and uh, Coach Cedric Williams, our O-line coach, have done an outstanding job of developing those guys up front. So um, the bigs is where it starts. And then obviously we have playmakers. We have to get the ball in their hands. Coach, in closing, um, your defense, uh, your defensive backs and guys back there uh, that should wrap up and make plays and tackles. Can you just talk a little bit about the defensive side and I'll get out of your way. Thank you, sir. Have a great week. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, again, it starts up front with our defensive line and, and um, our defensive coordinator, Coach Cord, um, has come in and, and really lit a fire into those guys. And, and um, you know, we have to stop the run and it starts up front. Uh, with our back end, we have some experience back there, uh, guys that played a lot of, a lot of reps in the last two years. Um, so I'm definitely comfortable with, you know, with the, with the guys in the back end. Um, but, you know, again, like I said, with the offense, it starts up front. So as our D-line go, our, 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 our secondary and our defense goes. But um, I'm pleased with the development of our defense and where we're headed. Thank you. Have